So in this video we're going to have a look at the Viva Connections dashboard. Now you might have had a go at creating a Viva Connections app inside Microsoft Teams. And what you'll find is um, it's basically a SharePoint page inside Microsoft Teams. So you might have your SharePoint homepage, might look something like this. You've got lots of web parts and content on it. And when you go over into Teams, you can then add it as an app inside Teams. This is called Viva Connections. And it's basically your SharePoint intranet with inside Teams, which is really cool experience. It's easy to get access to everything from Teams from one platform, and it just makes it really simple and easy to find and use. Again, you can see I've got the web parts on the page. Now, Microsoft are going to be releasing a branded app for Viva Connections and they want that to look uh, consistent and for any uh, pages that you add to have that consistent Teams look in it as well as work in the app and mobile and responsive. So what they've done is they've created the Viva Connections dashboard which you can create inside SharePoint. So going back into our SharePoint page to create your Viva Connections dashboard you go to the settings button, manage Viva Connections and if you haven't created a dashboard yet, there'll be a button here to create it. Uh, I'm just going to view one that I've created previously. And what you'll see is I get a blank page and I click the edit button. And I've got a mobile view and a desktop view and I can switch between them. I can click the plus button to add a card. And these are the ones that I get out of the box. You'll see it's quite limited at the moment, but obviously that will uh, that will change as people start to use it and Microsoft starts to develop it. So I could add on the top news and a bit like the SharePoint web parts, I can move it about on the page. I can duplicate it. I can delete it. I can open up the properties and pick things like the size. So I could have a, a medium news tile. I can have a large adoptive card. I can even target it to audiences. So I could target it to an AD security group if I wanted to, so only those people can see that particular card. And you can build this up, so there's a number of different ones in here. I guess the only ones uh, I'll particularly point out is approvals, which you get inside Teams anyway, um, but you've also got the, the Teams app in here. And inside the Teams app, what you do if, if you edit this particular card, you can see that I can actually pick one of the Teams apps that supports Viva Connection, so I could pick uh, Viva Insights or just uh, the Education Insights. And again, I've got the options to uh, change the text and the description. Another interesting one is uh, Card Designer, where you can create your own card. So again, you could pick one with an image on if you wanted to, just a heading or a heading and description. I can choose an icon for it if I wanted to. So I'm going to choose a beach and I'm going to call it um, holiday requests. I can put a heading in. And you can see I can create an action when it's clicked. So I can go to a particular link. So I might go to my uh, holiday site uh, or leave request site that I've got in here. So I just paste in the URL there. And there's lots of advanced stuff you can do in terms of changing the way it looks. And when I've published that, you can see I've now got my dashboard. And now that it's ready, I can go back to my SharePoint page. I can click the edit button. I'm just going to add this to the top of the page so you can see it. So what I'll do is I'll create a new section and I'll add the Viva dashboard. And republish it. So what you'll see is this now looks like native teams as an adoptive card. I can click on these and it'll open up. If I'm inside teams, it'll go straight into that app. I'm just in the browser at the moment. And if I just uh, refresh, you can see I've now got my cards here at the top of the page. It looks a bit more like it's built into teams. And what you'll find is eventually when the uh, Viva Connections app is released, it looks something like this where you'll be able to um, access it in an app through a dashboard 
and those cards will let you pull data in and do things with a touch of a button. So it's much more lightweight than a full intranet, um, but it does give employees key access to important things. Now there isn't a huge amount you can do with it currently out of the box unless you start making your own Viva Connection apps, but it's definitely something to keep an eye out for. Microsoft is going to be developing this really heavily over the next year or so.